a party in Yaoundé and beyond. The pride of a nation after winning their semi-final to qualify for the finals of the competition at home. Raisa Fugio's solitary strike separated the two sides at the end of a thrilling semi-final. It proved to be a battle of local against international squads. The entire Ghanaian starting lineup play for local sides, aside from top scorer and captain Elizabeth Addo, who plays in Sweden, while the indomitable Lionesses were drawn from a number of international clubs, including France, Sweden, Turkey, and Finland. The fans, however, were ecstatic. The match has been a tough one for us, but unfortunately for Cameroonians, we had it, we made it. As lions as we are, the ladies have made it. It's awesome. I'm so happy. The spectacle that Phil Abenel has given us a free. I was moved by the spectacle of our national team, but it is true that the match was very difficult. We must congratulate Ghana because they played very well despite the loss. The men's team will now play elsewhere in Bafosam, Limbe and Garoa. This stadium here in the capital should be reserved for the women. We don't want to see men here anymore. We are happy as women to see these other women play well. It wasn't easy, but they showed they are at the top. The two opposing tacticians showed class following the tie. They had met less than a year before in the finals of the All-Africa Games in Brazzaville. Ghana winning on that occasion 1 0. Each time we play a game against Ghana, it is either 1 0 or 0 0. Usually, it is a mistake from uh, both teams, either from Cameroon or from Ghana. Even though, um... Even though my dream of reaching the ultimate is over, I still have another prize in my sights. That is the fourth position. I have to consolidate my ambition. I'll go back to the drawing board and talk to my girls motivate them so at least we go home with the third place. The two coaches may be friends off the pitch, but it's the name on the team sheet that's going through to the final that matters. Cameroon are through to their fourth Africa Cup of Nations final, and this time they will be banking on the vibrant home support to see them through to the place they have never reached before, actually winning the Africa Cup of Nations women's title, this time hopefully on home soil. Mahia Mutua CCTV at the Stade Amadou Aijo in Yaoundé, Cameroon.